Praise the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. We are here again today to inspire you with the messenger angel arouse to be your realities. Glory to God. To encourage you with the word of God. You know, the Bible tells us that you will hear the voice tell you the way you are going is not the way that this is the way to go. And that's what Rhapsody of Reality does for us. And we are mystic that as you listen with us, participate with us, you will hear something that will put you on the right track. Amen. Because you to live the victorious life Jesus brought for us. Amen. 21st of April, and our topic says, when faith is broke, let us pray. Father, we bless your name in the name of Jesus. We thank you for your awesome love, your awesome kindness and mercy and grace which you have poured on us so graciously. Even as your word comes to us today, we receive it with joy into our spirits to produce the kind of results you ordained us to produce. We give you praise. We give you glory, honor, and adoration in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And the text is from the book of Luke, chapter 18, verse 8. Very powerful scripture. Nevertheless, when the Son of Man cometh, shall he find faith on the earth. Nevertheless, when the Son of Man cometh, shall he find faith on the earth. Nowadays, it is not uncommon to hear Christians talk about their doctor as though he is the Holy Spirit. <laughs> you will hear them make statements like, I was having tummy ache, so I went to the doctor and he told me what to do. They received the doctor's recommendation as though such recommendations came from the Holy Spirit. Imagine a Christian who's been feeling a headache for two weeks. You think the next thing he'd say is how he took a stand against it in the name of Jesus and it disappeared. Instead, his testimony is that he called his doctor who gave him a powerful drug that took care of it. <laughs> the question to ask such people where is your faith? Where is the place of the word of God in your life? They are doing things because the doctor, not the word or the spirit said to do them. How sad. Christians who have found themselves in this predicament have one major problem. Their faith has gone broke or bankrupt. Not me. Not me. The message of faith teaches that when you feel symptoms in your body, you rebuke it in the name of Jesus. You command Satan to get out. Many have become so enslaved to their feelings that the slightest ache or pain have them heading to the drugstore. How about the divine life in you? You are born of God and his life in you makes you impregnable to sickness, absolutely unconquerable. Hallelujah. 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 You may say, but I confessed, prayed, and tried everything, but nothing was working, and I didn't know what else to do. Well, that's what happens when faith is broke. How did you know things weren't working? They only stopped working when you thought and said they weren't working. Faith always works. Oh, yeah, use it to frame your world Amen. and create the glorious realities you want to experience in life. Amen. Faith always works. I, I am so excited about the things of the spirit because it's doable. If it's not doable, James won't have written that we should do the word. It says, be ye doers of the word and not hearers only. Hear, hearers of the word only deceive 
themselves. They are not deceiving other people. They are not deceiving the speaker. They are deceiving themselves. Because when you hear, you know, somebody says something. He said, um, he said that, I saw it on the social media. He said, you say you don't know, you have not seen the word of God. So you don't believe the word of God. But did you see coronavirus? Yes. <laughs> yeah, people wear masks <laughs> and gloves. <laughs> So these things are doable, they are practicable. The good thing I said is that the word of God is something we can do. And why don't we even try it out first? You know, I was saying, I said, there are so many Christians who will live with cancer and live 120 years, 150 years, and they will not be, they will not know, and they will go to heaven because they didn't go to the hospital. They they didn't see it. It's not there. But as long as the fear of the world grips you and you want to know what you have and you don't have, you will find it. And the moment you find it, what are you going to be doing? Trying to get rid of it. Who will get rid of it for you? The one who found it for you. It's not God. Because God will not tell you that you have sickness. He will tell you that you don't have sickness. And as such, he will only tell you to enjoy life. Obviously, he has given us all things that pertain it unto life and godliness. Glory to God. Praise God. So, let your faith be working. But it will work. I would say without faith, it is completely impossible to please God. You say you're a Christian? God hates fear. He likes a child who is a faith child. And I am a child of faith. I'm a child of faith. Praise God. I'm a child of faith. Wow. I do not have a broke faith. My faith is very, very robust. <laughs> Loaded faith. Let us take the confession together. Put your hand on your chest, please, and say after me. It makes no difference. It makes no difference. What the situation is. What the situation is. My faith. Fueled by, by the word always works. Always works. I, take I take advantage of God's extraordinary power in overcoming life's adversities, overcoming life's adversities by expressing my faith, expressing my faith which, is the victory which is the victory that overcomes the world, overcomes the world. its systems, Systems, economies, economies and, economics. and economics. I am fully convinced, I'm fully convinced of, my of my eternal victory over sickness, over, sickness, over, poverty, over poverty, over Satan, over Satan and the world. And the world. Therefore, Therefore, I rejoice, I rejoice in, Jesus name. in Jesus' name. Amen. This is the way to talk. This is the way to act. And you will always be a victor. Praise God. We're going to see you tomorrow. 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 The 22nd of April. We are indeed making progress.